Hey guys, it's Ryan. So a couple days ago, I posted a video of taking down number one, and since then he changed his layout a lot to make it a ton better against the tank grenadier hit I showed you guys. All three cannons up front. Uh, he makes it a little bit more annoying to get to the boom cannons and the laser, and it might still be possible with tank grenadier, um, but it looks difficult enough that I wasn't super confident trying because my diamond count is super low right now. Um, so I just spawned him again today and I'll walk you through the attacks I did on him. So since he made it so much harder, I switched to Heavy Zooka. I got him on my third try. I'll actually show you guys a couple of my fails because I know some people have talked about liking to see um, me failing to see what went wrong and how I fixed it. So this first time, um, my goal was to clear these guys, uh, smoke up around here. Um, actually was thinking, let me park in this spot and reflare down at the rocket because I do that sometimes. Um, so this went decently. I wasn't sure about these machine guns and flamethrowers. Um, a little while ago, someone posted a video that they shocked this, and so I shocked it too, just like, just to see. Um, I'll speed it up for you a little bit because it was really just one moment I screwed up. So come up here, there was a shock mine, so I spaced my uh, smoke timers accordingly, and the troops just spread way too far. I lost all my Zookas right at that point because they didn't get enough separation. So that spot wasn't going to work for me. Um, See, so yeah, I kept trying here, but I just lost too many troops to get the job done. So my next time, um, I tried something a little different. I decided, hey, let me just flare the shock launcher um, and not have to worry about it because that was a replay I saw someone else do a little while ago. Um, so the same attack, I was going to park a little bit more to the right and flare the sniper instead because um, I can shock the machine gun and the rocket in the same shock. And the separation went well, but the... Uh, the machine gun was annoying, killed some of my Zookas, um, and I just didn't have the resources to get it done with all this still in the picture. So I tried one more time with the very last of my diamonds because it's been so long since I've gotten gold in a boat uh, and got him down this time. So I was realizing, you know, these things probably, I see them get taunted every time. Let me try and see if they don't turn and kill all my troops um, at least once because I'm running out of GBE every time I do this. So I decided to go back to flaring the machine gun because the machine gun killed a lot of my troops last time so I'm going to switch back to that. Flare up here, same thing. Um, no shocks this time and it totally worked out. Nothing is shooting my Zookas. Everything is taunted here except like one sniper but that's fine. And you'll always have enough time to get that done, to get the re-smoke off. Um, flare up here. I threw my smokes a little bit early uh, to try to let it run out before they spread too much. And it didn't really work, so I had to ground flare again. Um, I was a little worried about that, but it actually turned out not really mattering. One Zooka peaked, and that's fine. I lost a few right here. Um, but that was the first time I lost Zooka, so I still had like three quarters of my Zookas left. Um, since I didn't flare that rocket directly, I wasn't sure exactly how long it was going to last, so I reshocked it. You can see how much health bullet still has. That has that's really good for me. Uh, there, bullet got shocked, um, which means that if I taunted, the rocket would still hit my Zooka, so I just shocked the rocket and taunted again as this shock was starting to run out. And I still have so many troops I knew it was going to go well from here. Um, I'd only used a couple of taunts that point three so I taunted one more time I didn't even need to flare the uh, shock launcher at this point I looked like everything was going to get it done on its own taunted once bullet got into the range where he might hide under the shock launcher's blind spot because if the shock launcher isn't taunted it'll target the zookas kill the shock launcher and then reflare and the job is done bullet actually does a ton of damage on his own like, even he can just take out a shock launcher or something if he's taunting and putting in work. So you could see, pretty standard, easy-ish attack. Um, 
really went well. I'm happy about it. It's just a cool example of how um, changing up his layout can help against some things and make it easier against other things and how just one strategy isn't your only option for global number ones or seven boosted ice bases. You can use a couple different things and have it work out. So hope you enjoyed. My name's Ryan. This is the PSC Life. Until next time, happy booming.